welcome to another video. In today's video, I want to show you a method that it kind of happened by accident. And I don't know if anybody else does this method. It may be something that's already on YouTube. It may not, but I thought I would share it anyway. I was starting a row and I accidentally crocheted over my yarn tail when I'd started my new color. And I thought, hang on a minute, this is a really easy way to weave in your ends so you don't need to do it at the end. This will only work at the beginning of a row, uh, so you will need to still sew in ends at the end of a row if that's what uh, if that's what you're doing. Or if you were changing colour, you can only do it with the colour that you're crocheting, crocheting with. Or if you were adding new yarn of the same colour, it would also work then as well. So this project, at the time of filming this is not a tutorial yet but I am hoping that um, it is October 2022 that Christmas 2022 that this will be a video tutorial so if it's a video tutorial there will be a link down below in the description box or also the pinned comment at the top of the YouTube comments now I've actually got it upside down I've just realized let me spin it around so this is what the project looks like. It's very cool. It's great for using up scraps. You can see I have a billion and one uh, yarn ends on this end. This is the end where I finish. This project is worked on all of one side and I'm going to design a border that captures, I don't know if that's the right word, but it captures all the yarn ends so you won't even see that. So yay for that. So you can see here a couple of times I've actually forgot to do it. Only a couple and you can see most of the ends are you can't even see them they're all in there hidden so what i'm going to do is i am just going to join in my new color for this pattern i need to work some double crochet so i'm just going to do a chain there to uh, secure that in so i need to do some double crochets and my yarn end is here so normally i would just let it go and then sew it in later which we all know it can be a bit of a pain to sew in your crochet ends. So I'm going to do a half double, uh, sorry, I'm going to do a double crochet and I'm going to work that stitch. And then just before I finish off my stitch, I'm going to grab my yarn tail and I'm just going to bring it around the front. And I'm going to complete my stitch. I need to do four double crochets in a row. So whatever stitch you are doing before you finish off your stitch, you're going to flip flop this yarn end. So I'm going to put it to the back and I'm going to finish off my stitch. I need to do another double crochet. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to bring it to the front. And it's getting trapped just in here, which is excellent. Like I said, I don't know if I've invented this or if it's just something that you already do. But I thought I would share it because I hate sewing in ends. I really do. Do you hate sewing in ends? Let me know in the comments section. So now because my yarn is at the front, you can see it's just sitting here at the front. We're going to flip it to the back. And we just keep going like that. So now this project now changes to a single crochet so I'm going to do my single crochet but before I finish it off I'm going to grab that yarn and I'm going to pull it to the front if you're doing a single crochet you could just crochet over it but I'm going to work it like this do I already I must have automatically done it so trap that in there and single crochet again I'm going to change it to the back. So I've been doing this this whole project and it becomes quite automatic. You just flip it back, you know, like I said, flip flop it uh, backwards and forwards. So my next stitch is a double crochet and then we're just going to put that to the back. Again, another double crochet. And we're going to flip this to the front. Where is it on? Here we go. And you can see I've got quite a long la ugh, words. Quite a long tail. So I can go for a while. You could always trim it off whenever you feel the need. I feel 
feel like I'm zoomed in a lot. There we go. That might be a bit better. And then do your stitch before you finish off. Flip it. And you can see that the yarn tail will get eaten up quite quickly by your stitches. So thank you for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed this really short tutorial. And let me know if you have a different way that you do yours. Do you do it similar to this? And I'll just pull that out so I can finish off a little bit. You'll see that it's completely hidden. And you can't see it from the back either. It's awesome. And now I don't have to sew in any of the ends. With this project, I don't need to sew in any ends anyway. Because we are going to hide them within the edging or the border. But I just wanted to test it out to see how good it was. And I am in love with it. So give me a thumbs up. I can't even fit my thumb in the screen. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video tutorial. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy crochet.